My name is Matt Noy. I'm a, an electronic engineer and I work on the GigaTracker project. Specifically, I was responsible for uh, a large part of the design of the readout ASIC and for the design and implementation of the test system and for most of the testing of the chip. There are two special things that come to mind about the TDC PIX chip, uh, the GigaTracker itself as well, but the TDC PIX chip, which is designed to read out the signals coming from the pixel sensor. I think the time resolution of this chip is, is one of the main things that makes it special. Uh, the TDC PIX measures time intervals, and it does so very precisely. So time interval measurement, it sounds exotic, but it's not, it's not, not as exotic as we might think. And it's something that, um, that most people would be familiar with given the right analogy. What it does is something like um, the 100 meter sprint at the Olympics. So here we have a stopwatch that times the time that each, each runner takes to, to, to run from the start signal, which is the start gun, to the point where they cross the finish line. So the Olympic stopwatch measures time uh, to one hundredth of a second. TTC PIX is about 100 million times better than this more precise than this. So what does this mean in reality? This, this is quite hard to picture, but, but if we were able to take time and slow it down, if we took time for the TDC picks and made it, uh, made one second of TDC picks time last one year of real time, of our time, then TDC picks would still measure time about three times better than, than the Olympic stopwatch. The second thing that makes this a special chip is that it can handle a very high rate of events. So if we, if we go back to our um, 100 meter final at the Olympics, uh, there are probably eight or 10 runners, uh, each one of whom receives time when crossing the finish line. The TTC picks can process uh, something like 130 mega hits per second or 130 million hits per second. This is like every man, woman and child from France, Italy, and Greece, crossing the finish line in a one second interval, and doing so every second, which is a lot. I've really enjoyed this project. I've, I've invested an enormous amount of time in this chip. Really, uh, I've been working full time on this since, since 2009 on this project. And it's, it's probably been one of the most challenging and one of the most gratifying projects I've ever worked on. I think that uh, the team of people with whom I, I was working on the design of the ASIC were exemplary, really an inspiration. And um, I would work with them all again. <laughs>